Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Travis P11. Uh, guys, it's been about a month since I've been able to get out to the range. We've been getting snowed out and rained out. Uh, that last video that you guys saw with my Glock that I took out there with the um, RMR site, that was actually filmed I believe in March if I'm not mistaken on a really nice day. Otherwise it's been about impossible to get out there. So we're going to head back out again and it is time for us to revisit an old friend. So back in December 2016, I tried to take this M&P9 to my regular range. Uh, there was a class going on, I wasn't able to use the range like I normally do so I headed to my backup spot which was fine except it was starting to snow and it was windy and it was just not a pleasant filming experience. I like a nice day if I'm going to show you guys how these things shoot. You know, there's a lot less wind noise and so on. So we're going to go and revisit this old friend. We're going to take it back out. This is a basic Smith & Wesson M&P9. Um, by the way, this farm is on loan to me from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. Guys, make sure you give SS Pond a call and they will take care of your firearms needs. One of the reasons why I want to go back and take this out now is when I was making that video back in 2016, I was still fairly new to making gun videos. I did not have a lot of shooting experience and I did not shoot that gun as good as I thought I could have. This M&P 9, I just didn't group very well and it wasn't a lot of fun. So I want to take it back out. We're going to have some fun with it this time. Um, ammunition we're going to be shooting is some 115 grain American Eagle, Federal American Eagle ammo, and then also some 124 grain. I've got about 25 rounds of that left over from a prior test. So we'll do two different range tests. We'll just see how this stuff shoots and uh, see how it prints on paper and see if I can shoot any better. And again, one of the, there's a million videos on the M&P 9. Okay, there's so many videos out there on it. Why is it that I even care about this pistol right now? Well, for one thing, they are an incredible value and you can pick these up new. I mean, we see some great deals on them in terms of used on the LEO trade-in market. I've seen these for $279, $299, uh, sometimes in $40, sometimes in $9. But I mean, if you want to get a nice, you know, just primary pistol and, and they're easy to work on, parts are readily available, sites are readily available, you know, and I'll do a full tabletop review on this gun. Um, man, I mean, it is really hard to beat. So, um, so we'll see how I shoot it. We'll see what happens. We'll be shooting at probably four different distances. I usually go like 7, 11, 20, and 25 yards. Just, you know, what I consider some, some just typical self-defense distances, I suppose, just in my opinion. And uh, we'll see how it shoots, and then we'll shoot some steel targets and have a little bit of fun. So, anyway, guys, it's going to be a little bit windy out there, so I'll do what I can to mitigate the wind noise, but it's going to be a good time. So stay tuned, and let's head out to the range. Okay, so uh, let's go and take a look at the shots here and see how we did. Uh, man, I'll tell you what, very, very comfortable pistol to shoot. Very low recoil, very manageable. Nice tight groups all the way around. You know, one or two flyers, definitely more than acceptable for a self-defense distance. Obviously, I think I need a little more practice, but very nice group. More or less, I had the front middle sight covering up the uh, orange dot. And, you know, the shots were either a little bit high or spot on. Any obviously movement of the gun was going to affect the accuracy. That's not bad at all. It's very much not bad. All right, we'll go ahead and move on to the um, 124 grain full metal jacket American Eagle and see if we notice any difference in the accuracy as well as the uh, fell recoil.
All right, so Stan at SS Pond, I want to thank you for loaning me this pistol. This is a great firearm. We had a good time with it. Very low recoil, put over 100 rounds down range. And as you can see, it was a very accurate shooter. I think one of the reasons why I shot this better this time around is because I shoot my Smith & Wesson SD9 VE a lot. And the trigger is very, very similar. It tenses up and then it breaks. But you don't get that definite wall like you feel with a Glock or other pistols. So that's something that takes people a little getting used to. For some people, it feels kind of squishy. But like I said, you definitely, when you shoot it enough, you definitely start to get a feel for when it's going to break. So fantastic value, guys. If you can pick one of these up, use, get a good deal on one new, whether you want to go 9 or 40 or what have you, or maybe go for an LEO trade-in, I'd say go for one. I think they're great. You know, part, like I said before, parts are readily available. You have options for sides. You've got tons of magazine options that are out there too. And uh, again, it was just a joy to shoot. It was a lot of fun. So that's it, guys. we got a lot more guns coming your way this summer that we're going to be range testing. Make sure you like or subscribe, mash the bell so you don't miss any uh, upcoming videos. But in the meantime, guys, check out Caliber Corner. That is Thursday nights from 5 to 7 Central Time, 6 to 8 East Coast Time over on GunChannels.com. Make sure you support GunChannels.com and GunTube.org. Otherwise, we're going to have a good time. So, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.